All right, so um, when you guys were first learning how to solve word problems, the big thing that you always were kind of told to help you solve word problems if you get stuck was always to draw a picture, right? Exactly. Now, we're not going to be drawing a picture for this, but what I want to do is they're asking us to write the equation of our ellipse, right? We've talked about two different types of ellipses. We talked about an ellipse when we have a horizontal major axis, and we also talked about one that has a vertical major axis. So there's two different types of ellipses with two different formulas that we have. So what we need to do is let's plot this information to determine which formula we need to use. So we have vertices and foci. So we're given the vertices and we're given the foci. Notice how the vertices and the foci all lie on the major axis, right? So if I can figure out that major axis to be horizontal or vertical, I can determine what type of formula I'm going to use. So let's plot these points. Vertices at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Foci is at 2, 0. Negative 2, 0. So ladies and gentlemen, since they all lie on the x-axis, you can see that now my major axis is horizontal or vertical. Horizontal, right? So therefore, since it's horizontal, I know I can use this formula. x minus h squared. Remember, it's horizontal, so a squared is going to be under the x plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Sorry? Uh, no, we're going to leave that there. We're going to want to leave that there. Um, so now, let's determine our values that we need to know. So remember, center, just like a circle, is h comma k. All right? Now, if you guys notice, if here is 2a, right, notice that the center is halfway between your, the distance of the two vertices. And the center is also halfway between the distance of your two foci and between your two co-vertices. Well, just by looking at this, guys, if here's negative 4, 0, and here's 4, 0, what's halfway between that? 0, 0, right? Because the total distance is 8. So you can see that halfway between there is just going to be 0, 0. So our center is at 0, 0. Bless you. Bless you. All right. And then our A, remember A is the distance from the center to your vertice. So to go from center to vertice, I go over 1, 2, 3, 4. It can be negative 4. It doesn't matter. You're squaring it. But you can say a equals 4. And we don't know what b squared is, but we do know what c squared is. And c equals 2, right? The distance from the center to your vertice. Now, that's why this equation is going to come so important that we talked about. Remember that a squared equals b squared plus c squared? That I didn't really explain where it comes from. I just said, hey, here's the formula for it. We can now use that. We can now use this formula to plug in our values to find b. Because let's look at what we have. We know h and k, because h and k is 0, 0. We know what a is, but we don't know what b is. And if we can figure out what b is, then we're done. We wrote the equation. No, it's not always going to be 0, 0. Good question. So notice, here's my vertice, here's my vertice. Notice how the center is halfway between them, right? Here's my foci, here's my foci. Notice how the center's right in between them, right? And also notice that the center, the foci, and the vertices all lie in the major axis symmetry. So if I look at, here's my vertice, here's my vertice. Here's my foci, here's my foci. Do you see how 0, 0 is in between the two vertices and in between the two foci? So that's how I can determine it's by. Exactly. Um, so now let's plug in what we know. So 4 squared. So we say a equals 4. So 4 squared is 16 equals, we don't know what b squared is, and c squared equals 4. So I subtract 4, and I get 12 equals b squared. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I know what b, I know what b squared is. a squared is now 16. And I know that center is 0, 0. So instead of doing x minus 0, is it OK if I just do x squared? Is that OK? No? OK. x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared all over a squared, which is 16 since it's horizontal, over y b squared, which is 12, equals 1. And that's it.
Now, again, you don't have to write x minus 0. We can just write x squared over 16 plus y squared over 12 equals 1. OK? Any questions? That's it.